Hi, I'm Steve Yunus from supermanhomepage.com. In a new interview with Empire Magazine, Zack Snyder is quoted as saying that he wasn't surprised if Man and Batman fans weren't impressed with his decision to have both heroes kill villains. The direct quote was, The only reason I'm not surprised is that some people got brainwashed by a bunch of material that's not consistent with true canon, and that's fine, they're on their own journey. I haven't read the full interview, and from what I understand, Snyder doesn't go on to clarify what material he thinks fans have been brainwashed by, or what he considers true canon. As you know, when it comes to Superman, in Man of Steel, Snyder had Superman snap Sod's neck, killing the Kryptonian general. Then in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, Superman appears to kill a man holding Lois Lane at gunpoint. Let's examine Snyder's comment. Ignoring the arrogance of the term brainwashed for a moment, what bunch of material could the director be referring to? Comic books? Previous films? TV shows? To be fair, Superman has killed people before Man of Steel. In the early days of the golden age of comic books, he was sometimes downright ruthless and even callous about the deaths he caused or let happen when it came to evildoers. In the episode titled The Stolen Costume of the Adventures of Superman TV series, Season 1, Episode 13, starring George Reeves, Superman leaves villains on a remote mountaintop and they fall to their deaths while trying to escape. While he didn't directly kill them, he was technically responsible for their deaths. There have been a number of deaths caused by Superman in the comics, Doomsday obviously, but more critical in people's minds when it comes to the whole do not kill vow is the death of the three Kryptonian villains in the pocket universe as seen in Superman number 22 from October 1988. Then there's a debate over the fate of General Zod, Ursa and Non in the theatrical cut of the movie Superman 2. Superman tosses a powerless Zod down a foggy abyss, never to be seen again. You could be forgiven for assuming they've fallen to their deaths. Unless, of course, you've seen an extended version where the three villains are seen, very much alive, being taken away by the authorities. However, not everyone has seen that version, and while some may have thought the villains perish at the end of Superman 2, Superman isn't actually seen to kill Zod as he did in Man of Steel. So, is that the material Snyder is referring to as having brainwashed some people? Or is it something else entirely? Whatever it is, who is Snyder, or anyone for that matter, to determine what past Superman material, be it film, television, or comic books, is true canon? That's like trying to determine who is a true Superman fan. I like Zack Snyder as a director, but I think it's arrogant for him, or anyone, to point to a particular part of Superman's 85-year history and say this is true canon. To call anyone who doesn't agree with your take on things brainwashed is not only dismissive, but it's also elitist. All versions, even Zack's, are relevant. Enjoy what you enjoy. Don't let anyone tell you your favorite version of Superman isn't true canon. I'm Steve Yunus from supermanhomepage.com.